Hey guys. <clears throat> so it looks like um something's going wrong <clears throat> is um something's going wrong with uh OBS and I can't seem to get it to go right with my um with my thing. You know, you know what I mean with the thing that I'm trying to do. So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to happen with the simultaneous chat on screen. Let me um, see what I can do here. Hey, Cat. Hey, Zio. Hey, Mika. Hey, Candice. Hey, Marie. Hey, Miss Mojo Ryzen. Hey, Karen. Hey, Mina. Uh, it's good to see everybody. Let me try. I'm going to try something crazy right now. Window capture. Okay. Do YouTube. Okay. And I do a preview stream. And then I do edit scene. I really like to have you guys' commentary on here with me. <clears throat> it makes things easier to manage. So let me try this. Hey, Helen. Good to see you. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now if I go into Hangouts and I do screen share of... Google Hangouts, Google. Oh, man. I can't seem to... It's not giving me the option to do... Because I can show you guys the, you know, the chat room, but I can't do the chat and the stream simultaneously. How else could I do this? Uh, man, that's too bad. All right, well, you'll just have to look at the chat and the stream on its own thing. Um, I don't, I don't know how to, uh, yeah, I saw that you said hi on the other stream. I, I, I tried to launch that stream and it didn't work out for me. So I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll try to maybe troubleshoot OBS after this and end up with a couple little two-minute malfunctioning streams. Hey, Amada. Um, hey, Candice. I think it's going to do Google Hangouts from now on. <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, however it works is how it's going to work. So today was eventful um, in that I got up kind of early and um, I drove Bennett to LAX which is about a 30-minute, 30 35-minute drive for me, uh, unless you're in L.A., which you are if you're going to um, LAX, at which point it becomes an hour-long drive or possibly longer. So I did that. I came home. I made some food. And then I immediately went back out and took another friend to LAX. So that was two trips to and fro today. Um, <clears throat> I stopped by the post office. There was nothing in the P.O. box for me. So we are currently at capacity. There was a package here at my door, though. So that's nice. Um, so here we are. Hey, Red Star. Uh, we already said hey to Red Star. Um, uh, we're doing more days until Christmas. Yay. Yeah, so Christmas is going to be in a couple of days. Uh, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. I'll probably... I think we're going to try to do our Thursday stream. Maybe we'll just do one. Maybe we'll do two. We'll have to wait. You'll have to wait and see. Hey, Tim. Good to see you. Thanks again for all the stuff yesterday. Um, I've already allocated most of it, except for Ghostbusters, into its uh, into its place. But I have special plans for Ghostbusters, as Lynn may have told you. Um, so um, let's get to opening some stuff up. Can't find my crappy knife which is my good knife. So all I have is this good knife, which is my lesser preferred knife. Still a good knife, though. Um, uh, but I promise you, I will be... 
I will be playing that game soon. Um, but the uh, the primary caretaker of it will appreciate it much more than I, I do, I think. So I just want to get it. I want to put it in some good hands that aren't mine, but I'll still get my use out of it. Um, I think this is actually a girl's hoodie. I've been wearing it all day, and the zipper handle is on the wrong side. But it's okay. It's very warm. Yeah, yeah. I'll find that knife. Um, so, when I opened up this package... I, I kind of opened it off the screen. I didn't show it to you first. But this is the package that came today. This guy here. And uh, it's very heavy. And I just opened it up. And it is... Uh, oh. Let's see if it's from anybody. Shipped to... That's... This package... This package is confusing me right now. Did somebody send me a ream of paper that I had on my wish list? Because I think this may have been misdelivered. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, yeah, this is supposed to be for me. Like, okay, so check it out. I put this on my wish list because I have a printer, and every time I go to print something, I have to find a piece of paper to put on, like, scrambling for a piece of paper from, like, a notebook that I've had for 10 years. Um, so I put this on my wish list, and now I have paper to use uh, for printing, you know, resumes and, and, um, and boarding passes whenever I get on a flight or anything. But it's the, the sender address, or the... the uh, the address on on the shipping label isn't mine. It's someone here in Los Angeles, which I think it came through a Walmart store. Either way, whoever sent the paper, thank you. I'm going to use that paper and print on it. It's going to be great. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Uh, let's see. It's fuzzy. Me too. Who's seen Star Wars? Everybody saw Star Wars. I suspect somebody had to do with the box knife disappearance. No, the the knife is here. I I um I was messing around with you guys when I accused Cat of stealing it. Um, no fuzzy socks today. Probably Christmas Day. I'll be just lounging around the house in my fuzzy socks. Um. Uh, hey, Dead Purple. Hey, Selena. Hey, Raven Valentine. Hey, Steph. Hey. Um, so yeah, I got this room of paper, and I'm super excited to print things now and, and not have to, like, have a uh, little, um, have trash written on the back of whatever's on the back of whatever I, uh, <laughs> hey, Danny. Um, uh, yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one is now officially over for me. And, um, disappointing all the way through. All the way through. They had, uh, they, they had a little more budget for the final episode. So it was nice to see some characters from the movie come back. Um, they actually, uh, somebody actually died. That was nice to see. Uh, one of the bad guys was, was actually killed, which was great to see because, um, you know, this, this is bullshit. Like you can't just keep letting the villains live. Um, 
I'm not the only one who didn't like that show either. Good, thanks. How are you doing? Hey, Susan. Um, so, guys, uh, keep an eye out for whoever ordered this paper, because I really am thankful for it, and I really am going to do it. Tim, I don't want to talk about the dog. Uh, that I don't know why they needed to include the dog in the plot. It seemed like a stupid inclusion. The dog didn't do anything to deserve that part that it got. Um, yeah, uh, Ziamara, I enjoyed about 0 0.4 seconds of that show, which is less than half of one second. So good job, writers of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You just made me watch about seven hours of, uh, of your show so that I could enjoy less than one second of it. Perfect. Hey, Lexi. Uh, you missed a lot of stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't ask me that. Uh, the only actor in the <laughs> uh, woodblock thing smells like a real fireplace. Um, uh, the ending comment. I don't even know what that was. Oh, well. It was something. Let me see what the last tweet I made was. Ah, never mind. doesn't matter. Last tweet was, oh, that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what about Boomer? Weird. So let's do our uh, the 10 Days of Helen's Miss package today. Uh, let's do this one here. We've got a little package right here. So let's open it up. Yesterday, as you may recall, I opened the Zombicide character that looked eerily reminiscent of Chev Chelios from uh, the Crank movie series. Uh, the days before that, I think it was like three straight days of um, characters that looked just like uh, b -b 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 Big Bang Theory characters. So this one today, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing who or what they resemble. Um, oh, I get it. Okay. So immediately upon opening this one, I recognize her as Agent Dana Scully of the FBI from the X-Files, which I was... Helen, the federal agent. Um, Helen uh, looks just like Scully from the X-Files, and I was just noticing on the way back that there were billboards for a new X-Files thing that's going to be happening. So uh, for everyone who wants to be on board with the X-Files thing, you could, now's your time to be like, I watched it! I watched it the first time I played! I'm a real fan. I'm a big time fan of the X Files. I was never that guy. I never liked X Files. The intro creeped me out, and I never got past it. Um, uh, the tweets are always going to see. Did you eat all the chocolate fruit bars? I've had two of the fruit bars, and I've actually been um, square by square making my way through uh, this uh, the chili the chili chocolate bar, which is it's got a little chili in there. You know, it's got a little spice on it. I put a little pepper on it, a chili pepper. Uh, but I don't know. It just kind of tastes like a chocolate bar. It's got a little tiny aftertaste, little tiny hint of spice on the aftertaste. Um, it's good, though. I mean, it's still good chocolate regardless. Uh, I, had a, I had a couple packets, of, or I had a packet, and Bennett had a packet of the hot chocolate you guys sent as well last night. So that was really good. Um, let's see. I only seem to catch up on episodes, uh, movie actors making an appearance. Well, Steph, those are the best, uh, episodes to catch because honestly, 80% of that show, there's not even anything that even resembles a connection to the Marvel universe aside from Coulson himself. Um, uh, I remember the show was okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Have time for this. Uh, the best episode possibly the one with the creepy murderous doll that made people hit. Oh, you're talking about X Files. Um, have you devoured the fudge? Uh, a good. We've made a good dent in the fudge. I brought it to Zombicide one night, and uh, uh, my new buddy. Um, what's his name? Uh, somebody somebody made a big dent in it when I played Zombicide the other night, and then I brought it to D and D as well, and a, a few more pieces were taken. But yeah, that's so much fudge. I'll probably bring it to Christmas Eve tomorrow, and we'll try to make another little impression on it. Um, creamy out as well. Watching TV, Kimmy Kardashian. 
Did I spell that right, Danny? Devoured? Yeah, I think you spelled devoured, correct? Sent you the paper, hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Lexi, so much. Yeah, it, the, the packing slip was weird because I think it was shipped to a Walmart first. So like the packing slip says shipped to, and then like a completely different place in LA. I was like, oh, did I just open somebody else's package? Like it wasn't misdelivered to me and I didn't bother to read the, the address. Um, so thank you very much. I'm going to use this paper. It's going to come in handy and it's, I'm going to put it to use. Um, Mika, I thank you for all the fudge. It's just a lot of fudge. I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be a fudge maniac to really get all that fudge down your maw in a, uh, in a, in a couple of days, because that is, that is a lot of fudge for one person and my cat can't have any, unfortunately. So, um, there's never too much fudge, fudge, LOL, LOL, everyone's lolling. All right, so let me read, hold on, before we skip over Helen, the federal agent. Um, so the quote is, freeze, you hell, force a habit. Bam, bam, bam. That's her quote. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, Helen was a federal agent, proud to uphold the law and protect the people. Her inquisitive nature and logical mind lead her into investigations Oh, her inquisitive, inquisitive nature and logical mind led her into investigations, and she became a terror to the nation's organized crime syndicates. She finally managed to anger the wrong people, though, and she was under investigation for trumped-up corruption charges when the zombies came. I don't know what that means. With the streets full of flesh-eating monsters, the game had clearly changed. But Helen found that her skills and experience still applied. She finds it very refreshing not waiting for a warrant before breaking into wherever she needs to go. Maybe she'll be a door opener. There's a door opening ability. Maybe she'll have that as a federal agent. She should know how to kick down doors. Um, I have never had fudge. Me neither. Number one catchphrase right there. Uh... If that happens again, I said a couple of other things. No, uh, it's it's just how it's shipped from a Walmart vendor. So what happened was I think they shipped it to a local Walmart, and then that Walmart shipped it out from there. So it kind of has two recipients on it, and I just have a packing slip that has somebody else's name who works at that Walmart. So here's uh, here's Helen, sent by Helen. Uh, she's kind of a light blue color. And she looks like Dana Scully. So I'm going to put her in her proper character bin tonight. Um, hey, Elizabeth. Uh, my boyfriend showed me a bakery that made orange cream flavored fudge. Yeah, there's actually an orange flavored uh, chocolate bar that uh, Tim and Lynn sent. So soon enough, I'll be digging into that. Goodbye, Amada. Miss you. Um, we got a ton of celebrations, a load of fudge in there. No, for Christmas. Okay, my cat sat down and is not nipping me. Thanks, Shane. Um, good night. Wait, it was Susan saying good night, too. I don't know who Susan saying good night, too. So, today was a lot of driving. Um, I just want, I got home, I ate dinner, watched an episode of that garbage, and I uh, figured I'd get this stream over and done because uh, I know I like to say, you guys know I like to say uh, hi to y'all. Hey, Yasumi. Long time no see. Glad you're here. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm just beat. I got up really early. I actually came home. I slept for a couple hours after that first trip to LAX because, I don't know, I just was not in the mood for it. Um, <clears throat> but, I'm, I'm hoping everybody has a, 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 a good Christmas ahead of them. Touching fudge shops there. Oh, freaking weather. This is ridiculous. What's the weather like there, Red Star? It's storming there in, in Shane's neck of the woods. Mika, go to bed. It's too late for you. You need to go to bed if you got up at 3.30 a.m. Unless you've already gone to bed and then woke it back up, which is fine. On HOC Season 1, Episode 5, 
main couple have? What's H O House of Cards season one episode five? Yeah, um, House of Cards. You're gonna see some really surprising stuff. Um, it's it's a truly like the characters you you think you get them for a while, and they're not illogical characters they're just really surprising well-written human beings that are um just shockingly ambitious you know that's who you're following it's just people who are incredibly pragmatic and ambitious and it's uh it's difficult it's difficult to understand them sometimes but they're written they're written in such a way where you're like wow this is on a level i would have never even explored um uh, let's see. Eat a piece of fudge. Make snow on Xmas here in the desert where I live. Global warming does exist. You know, it's funny. Every year I hear somebody talk about global warming, and it's like usually when the temperature is changing, like. It's, it's becoming spring, and people are like, oh, global warming, am I right? I'm like, no, that's just the earth moving around the sun. So don't, uh, don't, don't do that. Like, that's not global warming. Um, yeah, Tim, House of Cards, I could talk with you about House of Cards all day. Like, if any of you guys have watched House of Cards, you know the struggle Tim's going through where you have uh, several characters that you're following but the main one is likable and you you enjoy seeing the means by which he succeeds but at the same time he's so creative in being devious that you're like wow i'm actually sort of rooting for the bad guy um so it, that's what made me love house of cards was that it was so complex but somehow you still want to know how, what he's going to do next. Just what is he going to do next? Or what are they going to do next? Um. <laughs> uh, here in Florida, it's just a little cold. Waking up early. I don't want a red star. Yeah. Guys, if it's snowing, please keep it. I was reading something today where someone was saying how much they love snow. And I wanted to write a very strongly worded response to that, but then I remembered I don't care about their feelings, so I need to just leave them alone. Um, yeah, the Northeast, wasn't it like that last year where you guys had nice weather right up until like January and then it just snowed for four weeks straight? You ended up with mountains and mountains of snow. Um, uh, being a night out people, Naruto Geek, you have a beautiful, gorgeous name. Hmm. We have some Naruto fans in the crowd. Uh, well, I hope that in the Northeast, the weather is a little more even keel this year. I know nobody's in the mood for uh, mountains of, of filthy, melting snow to dissipate, because that's unbearable. Um, Uh, there's oddly snow where I am. You want to hear someone goes gaga for snow? I like snow. Okay, we're all talking about the weather. This means we're boring people. Uh, it's raining here. I wish I could change my username. What's wrong with your username, Naruto Geek? Just shows one of your interests. All you have to do is sign up for a fake email address on Gmail and then make a new username. Uh, I can't stand. Keep quiet on the snow thing. It's storming bad. Let's talk about the weather. Yeah, right? Um, I'm trying to think about anything else to talk about, but unfortunately, if you're not intimately familiar with the, uh, the drive to Los Angeles International Airport, I don't really have much to say about today. Um, oh, that's nice. Let's, let's take care of this one right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Oh, hey, bud. How's it going? Lake Tahoe. 
we have a cat on the premises. So guys, um, what do you got planned for Christmas? What are your Christmas traditions that you have going on? Put this down so I can enjoy this thing that's happening. Um, I'm not complaining about. No one's got anything going on for Christmas. That's too bad. I'm singing an a cappella group in a hotel for Christmas. Oh, that'll be cool. Good for you, Jazzy. Singing for money. I mean, that's pretty rare. Just came out. Yeah, I got to go grocery shopping tomorrow as well. I don't want to get caught on Christmas without any groceries. Um, Christmas Eve. I got a speeding ticket. I have to pay for that. Family gathering tomorrow night. Make a ton of cookies. Going to visit family, watch Netflix, eat shortbread. Good. Stuff my face with food. Wow. We got a gluttonous crowd. Spend the morning with my parents, then go see a movie. Yeah, the Christmas movie is something I've never really done. But uh, I, I think a lot of people do that. Christmas movie and Chinese food. That's sort of uh, certain people have that tradition. Roast beast and all the fixings. Yeah, usually on Christmas we would have Italian food in my family. Uh, so I'm going to a new Star Trek movie. Wait, the new Star Trek movie? I thought that wasn't coming out for a while. Ah, uh, you heading out, Dead Purple? Anyways. Those are scrambled eggs. Yeah, I um. I make scrambled eggs with uh, with cheese, and I put ketchup on it in the morning usually. Uh, I'm going to turn down Die Hard tonight. Can you believe it? Just not Christmassy enough. Die Hard's the Christmassiest. You should never not watch Die Hard on Christmas. Um, okay, Star Wars movie. I was like, Star Trek? That's not out yet, you crazy, you crazy guy. Um... Cheese goes well with 90% of everything. It's true. I love cheese. So, um, God, what do I want to say? I've got nothing interesting to say. No, I think ketchup on eggs is a pretty common thing. That's why when you go to a diner at, at breakfast time, there's always ketchup on the table already. Scary part of that feeling Christmas is over. Growing up, yeah. Um, uh, from Helen, I opened up this um, beautiful zombicide figure named Helen as well. So she's like uh, she's like Dana Scully from the X Files. Doctor Who Christmas. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, I want to cosplay Kylo Ren. BGC never has anything interesting to say. She's never got anything to say, see? This is all she says, ever. She just says purr, 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 purr all the time. Hey, I uh, should, I'm not even going to ask. Never mind. Um, Valentine's, Valentine's stuff? Who's got Valentine's stuff out? That doesn't make any sense. There's no Valentine's money to be made until at least the mid-January. Um, so I have a few friends who have kids, and everybody's got uh, a little elf. They, they, they keep talking about elf on a shelf, and I have no idea what elf on a shelf is. And I, I heard it again uh, day before yesterday when I went and visited somebody. And I'm just like, that was not part of my childhood. I don't know if it's a, a modern, uh, a modern thing. 
no creepy, no creepy elf on the shelf here. I don't know what it is though. Is it a story? Is it a show? Is it a movie? Um, is it like a, just a consumer thing you put on your shelf? I have no idea what it is either. You're not alone. It started a few years ago. It's a bad gimmick. I told them about Krampus this year. It was interesting. Elf on a shelf caused trouble. Elf goes back to Santa. So you keep a little toy elf on a shelf, and it, it you use that to tell your kids to behave, or else the elf reports back to Santa that you're naughty. And that's what that is. I mean, is it, like, connected to any sort of thing? Like, or is that just, like, some sort of parental conspiracy? Kids put them up, and then at night you move them so the kids think he moves. Okay. Well, all right. I guess that's cool. Well, it's a little sinister. It's a little insidious, honestly. Um. Oh no! Where? How do you watch the Venture Brothers Christmas special? Um. There is a book in a movie. That's what I thought. There's got to be, because like everything is a book in a movie. Even Rudolph was a movie, uh, like that little animated thing, right? Uh, oh, it's an old German thing. Interesting. Just goes to show you cultural appropriation. Uh, very venture Christmas. Is that just on Cartoon Network tonight, or is it airing online anywhere? Ow, ow, your claws are too sharp, buddy. Ouch! She's got a hold of me, and it is sharp. Bud, you're too pointy. I appreciate you sitting on my lap and stuff. Yeah, you know what? We haven't seen Kristen in a while. If anyone's been talking to Kristen, tell her we miss her. Um... What, did I say I had a grandson, Tim? I don't understand what I said that would make you say that. Ow. Oh. Ow. God, that hurts. It doesn't hurt that bad. She's just very pointy right now. And she's... God. Yeah. Yeah. Just be. Kristen was here yesterday? Are you sure? She hasn't been speaking up as much as she used to. I miss, I miss Kristen. Um, Kayla, Bumble was always my favorite claymation. His look, his grandson is Krampus. He's the son of hell. What? That's, that can't be right. That's nuts. See, that's another crazy thing. Is that Christmas is tied to to Loki, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Krampus book. Did anyone see the Krampus movie? I don't care if you did. I'm just asking that to prevent radio silence. Um, what did you click off, Nerd of Geek? Clicking off sounds kind of dirty. Um, let me think here. <laughs> no, Jazzy, first of all, you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me how I feel. You know, my dad, go put on a sweater. Yeah, I heard it wasn't great. Um... I'm trying to, I, I have to go still see The Martian. I'm super interested in seeing that, but Krampus, I don't think I'm ever going to watch. Um, man. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? Sorry I don't have anything particularly interesting to say tonight. Make things online for the, it seems like the link's online for the Venture Christmas. Maybe I'll check that out tonight. 
in the holiday season they have uh yeah she didn't like that you compared to that bunny Kristen didn't troll i don't think bunny was trolling i think she's just i think she's just a very rambunctious person and that's why um that's why i made the comparison not because i ever thought Kristen was trolling but because i think Kristen was very energetic and so i i think bunny is the same way where um it's just like i'm gonna i'm gonna say some stuff i'm gonna say some things and then you're gonna have to figure it out later i'm just gonna say it figured it out um it is kind of it's it's fun to hang out i just feel like i you guys seem to respond really well to me ranting about stuff and on days when i haven't had anything particularly eventful happen i don't really have anything to rant about um sure and i mean i can ask you questions all day but um that the trap there is hey melody guys it's melodic chaos uh cosplay you may um you may recognize her from um steven's lineage um Ran to us about your dreams last night. Oh, you know, I did have a dream last night, and I woke up right in the middle of it. But I don't remember what it was. Should have wrote it down. That was crazy. Um, who had a, who had a memorable dream last night? Tell us about it and how it made you feel. Uh, any other show in your mind to watch? Um, I'd really like to watch, uh, Rick and Morty. Um, there's another show I just added. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'd like to watch that one. Jazzy, you only ever tell me about dreams you have that I'm involved in. And whenever I hear, um... Whenever I hear that someone's dreamt about me, I always assume it's a sexy dream, and that's a little uncomfortable, but then it never is, and that makes me even more uncomfortable because I'd rather it was by the time they finished telling me about it. Orcs from World of Warcraft stole my crayons. All right, that's an interesting dream, you assume. What do you think that means? Um, I know, Helen, that you like it. I just don't always have ammunition for ranting. Mine was about drag queens, says Marie McCreekydore. Um, yeah, the Periscope thing, I don't think I'm going to keep doing because um, everyone was like, I can't see you. You're frozen. You're frozen. Is something wrong with you? What the, what's wrong with you? Do you, not, you know how to, do you not know how to use Periscope? Why is your Periscope bad? Tell me how to make Periscope work. I don't get it. What's going on? This isn't working. Everything's terrible. This is awful. And I'm just like, well, forget it then. I'm not worrying about it. Um, if I'm going to do Periscope from here on out, it'll just be Periscope of me talking to you, and it probably won't be 40 minutes long because I think my phone was slowing down the, uh, the stream in caching the video for 40 minutes straight. Uh, I've been dreaming weird stuff probably because the last couple of days I'm wondering, okay, Sometimes I dream about when I'm a kid. Uh, I'm dreaming about a guy I'm trying to get over. It's annoying. That's no fun. I really remember having them. Dreamed about angry shoppers at the store that they got mad and started to destroy the store. I gave her falling asleep. Rupalus. Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. I thought it said Rupalus. Rupalus Drag Race. My ex used to make me watch. She didn't make me, but we used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Definitely not my kind of show. I've, had, uh, I've been using Periscope to see other people, countries. Yeah, I just don't care about what's going on in other countries. What's everyone's favorite charity since it's the reason it's the season of giving? Uh, what is Periscope? Periscope is a it's an app for your cell phone where you can just turn your camera on and broadcast to an audience, and they see a live stream, but you don't have to be connected to an actual laptop like on YouTube. Um, uh, favorite charity, whenever I give to charity, I usually give to a women's shelter here in Los Angeles. 
Uh, last time I gave was a while ago, but that was also when I had a paycheck coming in. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, this, here's the thing about RuPaul's Drag Race. I think that the drag scene is very interesting and colorful and, um, you know, entertaining to watch. However, the drama that happens between uh, very fashion-forward people is just not what I'm into. Like, watching watching drag queens insult each other is just not the kind of like uh, plot line I'm into. Uh, and hey, Tim, we're listening to your voice. Okay, for donations. Yeah, Helen, the fact that it doesn't matter what I'm saying as long as I'm talking isn't helping me. Like, I, there's going to be a couple people like you that are going to turn in for everything, but if I keep making uninteresting shit, then, you know, uh, eventually it's just going to be me talking to you, and I might as well just call you on the phone. Um, there are Pug Rescue in San Diego. Uh, usually donate to helpers. Yeah, what kind of shows do you watch? So, I mean, obviously, lately, Melody, I've been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and it's just been awful. It's just been really terrible. But usually I just watch cartoons. I just want to watch cartoons. I wish uh, um, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes was still on. That was a good show. That's what Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. should be like. It should have been a cartoon. Uh, I donate to my friend's cat rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Bob's Burgers is a good show. I might agree with that one. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of shows that I want to watch. I'd love to get a hold of Silicon Valley. Um, 1-800-LOKI's talks for all your Loki needs. Yeah, that's going to be a friggin' uh, pay-per-minute service. Have you seen some old cartoons like Pink Panther? Of course, yeah, I grew up on stuff like Pink Panther and the old Hanna-Barbera stuff. Um, have you seen Duckman? It was very adult cartoon, like Family Guy, hilarious. I, I do remember Duckman. Don't remember too much about what it was about, but it was, I think it was Jason Alexander was the voice, right? Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna watch iZombie. The fact that it's a talking and functioning zombie, not into it. Um, an old cartoon called Queer Duck. I've never heard of Queer Duck. Uh, my dad just got himself the old Batman and Robin show. I was trying to get me to watch it with him. The old Batman show can be entertaining if you're into kitschy stuff. Um, you may also remember on top of Duckman, uh, they also used to show The Critic, which had John... What was his name? The Critic was a good cartoon that was like kind of like The Simpsons, where it was kind of more adult, you know, focused. But uh, that that show was great. Uh, cartoon shows, Undergrads, The Oddballs. I remember The Oddballs. Um, hey, Kelly McLaughlin, John Lovitz, that's the one. There's a guy on Tumblr that sounds like Tom Hiddleston's Loki that reads naughty whispers and such. Some of it's pretty funny. Yeah, I've had, I've endured one or two of those stupid things. I cannot tell you how much I cringe when I listen to that kid speak. And I'm not saying that um, I I should uh, I should be able to uh, like that I'm able to do a better Loki impression than him. But honestly, him taking it upon himself to try and be sexy as Loki is awful. It's an awful idea to me. Um, about that most people are trying to get no what it is. So you know what it about while wow, most people won't even try to get to know what it's about because of its name. I, I don't know, Melody, what you just tried to say. Uh, I've seen bits of Batman around. Love the classic Looney Tunes came back. Uh, Batman's Batman. He loves Batman, because he is Batman. That's who he is, and that's who he cares about. Uh, Sarcoidosis Foundation. It's a personal reason, but also socks for elderly. Okay. Um, so, yeah, old cartoons. Definitely get out there and try to watch a few of them. 
What are other old cartoons? Aeon Flux. That's an old, uh, more, more mature uh, brand of cartoon. Beavis and Butthead is something where I feel like this generation is missing out on. Um, how about me? Space Jam. Space Jam was. Space Jam is a joke. Space Jam is now a joke that hipsters use to talk about hyper commercialization of of uh, classic characters in me modern media. Like, if you're going back and watching Space Jam, you're probably wearing glasses that don't have like prescription lenses in them. Uh, Danny, I also really like Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons. Uh, mm -hmm. I am a metrosexual and shower five times a day. I too enjoy a good shower or two during the day, Batman. So, you know, just uh, go on with your bad self. Uh, he was my friend for a while. We lost touch. Harvard, Harvard Birdman. That's that might be his full name, Harvey Birdman. Uh, I've seen a couple episodes of Birdman. Uh, I'm oh Melody. I'm not going to Winter Sack Anime. I'm going to be hosting some things on New Year's, so unfortunately I won't be able to make it up again. Poor Bill. Saw what you're going through tonight. Uh, I never know what we're talking about. But I am squeaky clean and proud. Well, that's what happens when you give that thing a nice old spit shine, Batman. You got to rub that thing down. You know what I'm talking about, fellas. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. Go ahead and take a break. Um. I just recently rewatched Do uh, Beavis and Butthead Do America. Yeah, that was a great movie when it came out. I don't know if it would still stand up to the test of time if I watched it again. Beaver and Butthole. Mina, that's weird. I feel like you're you're getting a little raunchy on me. There was one animated by Ralph Bakshi. I think it was called Spicy City. Yeah, it does sound edgy. Four foot cuddly. Um, he showers five times a day, but he needs to clean the shower more often. Real nice. You know what I'm, yeah, you know what's going on here. Uh, all right, Naruto Geek, good to, good to see you. Please clean underneath. My water bill is over $200 a month. Batman, I know you're here a lot. Like, I feel like you've been watching the stream and not actually commenting that much, but I really do enjoy what you bring into it. Like I, I don't. I want to encourage you to participate more because I have no idea where any of this is coming from, but I love it. A two hundred dollar water water bill every month because you shower five times a day. I can relate. I mean, I don't actually get that. I don't do that, but um, no, Helen, don't send cheese. I don't want cheese. I'm not a cheese person like that. I won't eat cheese. Uh. Uh, yeah, cheese is not my thing. Um, spicy city is inhabited by Spice Girls. All right. When I hear your name, I don't think of you. I think of Bill Nye, because I know you was Loki. That's fine. I get it, Michaela. Um, I have that with other people. Why did you say that about showers? Food came out my nose. I'm sorry, Melody. <laughs> I didn't mean to gross you out. Um, Dari is another favorite cartoon. Um, Miss Mojo, Cheshire White and Crumbly. Uh, uh, yeah, I want Helen. I please no cheese. I will not eat that cheese, guaranteed. Especially if it's been in the mail for like days and days and days. I won't eat it. I promise you that. Do not send cheese. Um. So if I stream the whole shower thing. Don't no one stream themselves in the shower, please. Water's doing all the streaming you need in the shower. Uh, yeah, I do like cheese on my eggs. It doesn't mean I'm sitting around eating cheese like with a fork in my house, like some people enjoy doing. Yeah, send you know what? Send cheese to Stephen, or have Stephen put cheese on his wish list. He can get it, and then Melody can have some. Um. Oh man, Danny. Hey, Harley, uh, uh, Kat, did you ban the guy who was like, you gay? Because I keep expecting him to pop back up. 
Stream is a bit freezy, so I'll just watch later. Good night. Good night, Lexi. Yeah. Um, yes, this chat is all over the place. That's why I typically don't ask questions of the people in the stream, is because it starts to go in all different directions. Um, uh, may I pull my hair out? Don't stress out, Mephonics. I know you've been having a tough week or month, probably a couple of months. Uh, can we send Stephen 12 mugs for 12 mugs of Christmas? You're going to end, all that you're going to end up with is 12 mugs sitting in a pawn shop somewhere, uh, uh, Goodwill. Uh, yeah, Michaela, perfect example of uh, low attention span. Um, low attention span, uh, extreme goers. <sighs> is the blanket warm enough? Thank you again for this, uh, for the pick. Yeah, the blanket's great. It's, it's actually too warm sometimes. I kind of put it on the middle of me because it'll keep my feet too hot and it'll make my torso so too hot. So I sort of have a strip of it going across me. How many mugs does Steven need? Steven does not need any more mugs, nor do I. I need no more mugs and no more glasses. So whoever the next smartass is who sends me glasses, you may watch me smash them. Um, uh, is there any character from the flash that you liked? Uh, I, I always liked, uh, what's her name from arrow? Um, Felicity. Uh, but my butler takes care of all my manscaping needs. Weird. I like you, Batman. You're not crossing any lines, but you're getting real close. Um, yeah. Felicity in the DC television series is, is the only character I like because she just doesn't, I don't know, she doesn't take herself as seriously as everybody else. Has PGC been using the new bed? No, she has not. I can't get her to sleep on it. My mother-in-law just got back home two weeks trip and she's just tearing into me. Plus, Emma suddenly gets sick. Uh, like, oh, my God. With phonics, you know you're not neglecting your daughter. Um, I used to rush home from school to watch Time Tunnel. Uh, what if the glasses come from me or my dad? I'll, then I'll especially, he, I'll make him smash them. Because if he knows what's going on with these glasses, and he sends them anyways, I'll make him do the uh, dub smash of, this drink, I like it. I'll have another. Uh, let's see. Hey, Chakra. Bet if you put a box out, she'd get into it. No, she doesn't like boxes. Um, add Reese's Cups to your wish list. I'm not going to eat the Reese's Cups, Jazzy. Why don't you add them on your wish list? Someone will buy you some Reese's Cups. They're cheap. Um, I go around and drive to my parents' house. Ooh, I'm getting tired. I usually give people mugs wherever I go out of town as souvenirs. I'm a cheap ass. Well, if somebody's got a house and they have plenty of cabinet space, certainly get them a mug. You know, a mug's a nice gift. It's just at this point, Stephen's gotten about 12 or 13 mugs. So as someone who doesn't own his own home, it's difficult for him to store them all. Uh, I'll be shipping your package out tomorrow. I was going to do it today, but we didn't make it to the post office. Mephonics, take your time. Uh, you don't you don't need to send me anything. I'll always love you for just showing up. That's that's uh, that's gonna be a thing. So don't worry about sending anything and certainly don't worry about being punctual about sending anything. Unless it's gonna get moldy in the mail, in which case, yeah, send it out as quickly as you can. Is anybody allergic to chocolate? Not that I know of. Miss Mojo, you can never find away. Anyway, what video editor uh, do you and Steven use? He uses what does he use? I think he uses Apple, some sort of Apple. No, he uses... Um, what does he use? Pro something. Whatever the pro thing is. I think it's the Adobe Suite. I use uh, Lightworks, which is a free video editing software. Unfortunately, on my PC, it doesn't seem to work so well. So... Uh, yes. Yeah, I do. Um, 
Thanks for cheering me up. I don't say I was down. Don't want to ruin the chat. Just thank you for making me laugh. Hey, no problem, Danny. I hope your day gets better. Uh, if anybody is allergic to chocolate, okay. What do you do when your cat's mad at you? She's really mad at me. Um, I usually leave her alone. You don't, you can't really win over a cat. What you do is you let them get lonely and realize that whether they're mad or not, they can't live without you. My dog is laying behind the laptop staring at me, whining. Tell that dog to come here and touch your face with his face. Uh, my friend gave me a gift for Christmas. Not very nice. What happened, Lego puzzle? Found something at Geek on Alcon, which I showed the girls. Um, well, Mephonics, um, I look forward to seeing what you found. Tiny Tunes, I'm not allergic to anything so far as I know. Uh, I think it was Premiere. Yeah, I think maybe it was, was it Premiere. Does your Loki gigs pay well? I don't get paid to be Loki, honestly. Everything I do as Loki is more or less just for my own self-promotion. So, sorry to burst your bubble on that one, Batman. Uh, meet again. It's Tim's call. Small. Big. Uh, I can't have chocolate. If you have a dog, what would you have? I have a wolf. Um, if I had a dog, I would want like a golden, like probably like a yellow lab or something. She hates it when I kiss her head. She's been sitting here the whole time. She's just not been on my lap the whole time. Come here, bud. Thank you, bud. Are you an actor? No, I'm not an actor. I'm just a guy. I don't really, I don't do much acting. I'd love to try it, you know, but I don't have any aspirations to be on screen or on, on stage. Um, if you had a dog, what gender would you want it to be? Um... I think girl dogs are less likely to hump things, so I'd probably get a girl dog. Um, get your butthole out of my face. I like big dogs, my favorite. Um, Pirates in the Seal of Half Lab, Scottish Terrier, Tin Tin, Schnauzers, Emmertine. She's so fidgety, sits still, PGC. Yeah, she, she doesn't like being on my lap that much. Um, she likes to lay down in a nice flat area. When she's on my lap, she knows there's a danger of something unexpected happening, like me getting up. So, right. I mean, a girl dog will hump things, but I think in general, there's a lesser occurrence of it. Um, I, I mean, I'd like to try comedy, but I need to like actually build a set first. Um, like Snowy from Tin Tin, Fluffy Puppies, like Shih Tzu, uh, Black Scotty from Lady, the Black Scotty from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, you're asking Tim. I don't have a dog, but I like to play with the dogs. So I used to love this. A dog when he was a puppy. Mom's palm tries to hump the border collie, makes it funny. Talks to some of the Legends of Zelda games are Scottish Terriers, too. A lot of dog trivia coming out tonight. My female dog humped my hub's foot one time. Okay. I bring up dog humping, and people just go wild over it. Go for it, Bill. I think it would be great. Um, yeah, I, sure. But, it, like, what I'm saying is it's going to... Melody, I just I just want a mutt. I just want a pound mutt that's medium sized and short haired and happy and you know just kinda of stupid. I just want a stupid idiot of a dog. Ow cat, you're so sharp. Ow, buddy. Ouch. Look at the claws. Look at these claws. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that claw. Look at those things. They're too sharp. Get those off of me. I see what you're doing right now, and I don't like this. What was 10 minutes ago, Helen? Ah, do. 
Oh yeah, I would never get a dog while I'm living in this tiny apartment. I'm I'm aware of the responsibilities of having a dog, and I'm totally not ready for it right now. Um, here we go again. She she goes again. Yeah, hey, Mephonix, go tend to your stuff. Go, uh, you know, stand up to the powers that be. Fight City Hall. Fight the good fight. I taught you how to rant. You know how to do it. Get in there, make some good points, gesticulate. People love that shit. And tell her, you know, if you don't like it, you, yeah. That's what I say. Um... Yeah, I get a little um, inflamed when I when I get scratched by a cat as well. I haven't been doing much writing, Mika. I got to get off my ass. Uh, I've been working on these online classes, and I haven't put enough time into into doing actual craft, whether it's the craft of writing or sculpting or whatever. Um, so, I mean, you guys think I'm doing stuff all day? Honestly, all I'm doing all day is updating my friggin' Facebook and checking in the messages from you guys and streaming and all that. Um, uh, so, I don't know. But it looks like, how's the FAQ been going on the Tumblr? Lots of sending the link to people. I haven't had to send it to anybody yet, but then again, I haven't been... I haven't been people have been pretty busy with the holidays, so um, I haven't been getting a lot of messages lately. Here's one for you, Loki. My son just broke a gizmo mogwai bobblehead that I've had for 10 years. What would you do if you're in my situation? Ooh. <laughs> well, assuming that your son is about a year old, um, I would think that what you should do is probably move all your fragile collectibles to a much higher shelf. Um, possibly get some of that earthquake tacky glue and make it so that they won't easily fall off of shelves. Um, and just basically fill your home with really cheap crap that kids can just bang into each other and break all they want and you can replace for a dollar or less. Uh, uh, writing can be difficult if you're not inspired. I mean, I think I can write. I I just gotta I gotta set aside I I need more of a um, a regimentation thing than than inspiration I have a couple ideas I'd like to work on it's just like I need to know that it's six p.m. I'm sitting down and I'm writing for two hours if I'm gonna actually get anything done. Um, time to start my stream and open up these boxes. Everybody, go watch uh cat's stream. Um, you should be able to click on Harley Cat's uh. Um, I just subscribed to her myself, so I'm going to go watch her stream. This is a perfect time to cut this off and let her take over. Um, I'm writing Star Wars Day Faster. Uh, you should play video games. I can use his mind power and break see what I want to do now. Yeah, I'm going to try to start my, I'm going to try to test out my stream soon as well. Uh, I'm going to go watch Cat. Don't cry. Nobody cry. So everybody go. Uh, go to Cat's profile and then go watch her live stream. I'm going to leave right now to do just that. And we're all going to go watch her stream and support her as she unboxes 100 billion things from, uh, from uh, Lynn and Tim. Okay? Sounds great. Let's do that. Bye, guys. Miss you. Love you. Bye.